Okay, welcome back everyone. This is going to be the start of an ongoing series that I'm planning on doing, which will be going through as many of the old undercover collections as I can. The reason why I'm doing this is because I realize that there's not many resources available for the older undercover collections, uh, the stuff that's like pre-scab. I realize a lot of people don't really know what these collections were about. And I think a lot of people skip over the older collections because of this lack of detail. I feel like a lot of people are missing out on like a huge treasure trove of just amazing collections with amazing pieces of clothing. So yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. All images and scans that I use inside this video, I'm gonna try and attribute them to whoever I could find it. But in advance, I'm gonna say sorry, I could not find the original scanners of a lot of these scans. But for the ones that I was able to find, I am attributing them. But for episode one, I'm gonna be going over undercover spring summer 1999 collection, Relief. So probably one of the things that strikes people about Relief is yes, the very unique tag compared to the like normal undercover Jun Takashi or like undercoverism tags. The Relief tag is in a rectangle shape with round corners and this really nice a light gray color with like burgundy type. And compared to other undercover garments, it looks very different. I do like how Undercover's earlier collections use these very unique tags. You can see that in Exchange, Small Parts, also in Chaotic Discord a lot. And also for all the Generation Fuck You stuff that they did in collaboration with Double Taps. So I'm gonna start off very simple. What is relief? So the term relief that's actually being used inside this collection has to do with bass relief or the use of relief in art. Most people don't make this connection because most people don't know what relief is but when you see a picture of it you're definitely going to be able to recognize it so relief is a technique used a lot in architecture to have 3d images and sculptures that are carved into 2d surfaces and in this collection jun takashi does what he does best especially for his earlier collections and takes a term and finds a way to kind of wrap everything inside the collection around this singular term okay so now you know what relief is and when you see the main garments for this collection you'll everything will click for you because if you could see up here all of the main garments in this collection had this like washed out gray look to them and then also you could see these pockets and how this relates to the term relief is because these are not actually 3d pockets i have no clue how it was done probably through like extensive fading and like uses of stencils but this is just fades around where a pocket would be to give the impression of a pocket so you can see how this relates to the term relief because this is a 2d garment or at least the surface is 2d but it is faded in a way that it'll give the 3D look or the 3D structure. So there are not actually real pockets on this. Uh, there are some like kind of hidden pockets, but like the these type of pockets are actually just fading on the garment. This was a very unique and very like interesting move. And I think the way it connected to relief in art, just beautiful and just an amazing concept executed amazingly. But I think the reason why a lot of people don't make this connection or why resources aren't available showing this is because this connection of relief can only really be seen in these main like washed out garments. The rest of the garments in this collection, there was a lot of graphic t-shirts and also I believe the first use of the groupie text. But it kind of relates to the term relief because majority of the undercover t-shirts and graphic tees for this collection were from art or from photography. So in a way it does kind of relate as these graphic t-shirts mostly were not just like logo things. It was like undercover recontextualized inside art or just art that Jun Takahashi liked. You could see this with how a lot of the t-shirts had stills from famed Japanese filmmaker Kurosawa Akira who's like extremely famous and influential. And to wrap everything up, I think this collection, extremely underrated collection from Jun Takahashi. I think his earlier collections are extremely underlooked and that is in part because of how little resources are available and which is why I'm making this series. Cause I did a lot of the digging and like kind of made these connections myself so that I kind of share with other people because this collection is extremely underrated. But if you have any recommendations for other old undercover shows that you want me to kind of go over, please tell me in the comments. And also just if you liked the video or if I like missed anything, please feel free. I, I love to be corrected on stuff. But yeah, I think the next collection I'm planning on doing is 1996 Wire, but don't, I'm not set on that, but yeah.